Hello everybody and welcome to the next game. Rufal here. And despite that Square Sauce name is placed on it's placed on the forefront, this is actually a Capcom game. Hoorah. Yes! Let's play Breath of Fire. The first one. One of my favorite RPGs easily. Mostly because this was either the first or the second RPG I had played on the Super Nintendo. It's in competition with Final Fantasy IV in that regard. But, from my point of view, this game was more colorful and promised me dragons. And it delivers. Aha! I've decided I've went with the Super Nintendo version of this game because I feel the game actually suffered quite a bit with its with its Game Boy Advance port. Now, uh, the, the, art the art quality isn't as good in my opinion and neither is the music quality. All that was exchanged for a run button. I'm not that impatient, really. <laughs> but, well, let's just begin the game. I've already created, already created a new game for for us to start with, and I went with the default name, which you get by not entering a name. Aha! So, let us get started. Story time. Sounds like a bunch of. Philosophical stuff at this point, right? <laughs> that is a good question. Actually, on a cosmic scale, our lives go by a lot faster than that. <laughs> but, small detail. like the Romans, I guess. Probably also like the Romans. Sounds like someone slept through history class. And it is the Dark Dragons. Don't! <laughs> yep, they slept through history class. Makes it sound like the Dark Dragons plunged the world into chaos before. Puppy Dog! Oh, run, pooch! Hmm. Well then. Well, if you're out to take over the world, having some power that will grant wishes is... 
doing it the right way. <laughs> Ah, yes. If there's dark dragons, there are light dragons. It's always a flip side. I right, to the coin. <laughs> what? Before the world was theirs. Oh, I had the impression she already was. No pressure or anything. For any who might be confused, I had edited in the game's intro se sequence for if you don't do anything, or if you just sit there at the title screen. Aha! So, let's see if we can figure out why the light dragons haven't... haven't done anything yet. I'll say. Wait, what? How did I sleep through that? Before we go running off too quickly. I want my potion. Run! That sucks. I'm a coming. Um, it's clearly on fire upstairs. I guess the ceiling must be made of stone. repeating dialogue. But now we can talk to the person we need to talk to. Sarah. Who is Sarah? That's Sarah, the blue hair and the white robes. Oh boy. Well, we are supposedly the ones who can stop him, so, uh, he's going about this the smart way. Uh, evil, or perhaps foolish, I don't know. That would explain why we haven't done anything. Sarah thinks this is a bad idea. Oh, they have a they have an army. <laughs> huh? Do your part on your own. has a point, but Sarah doesn't care.
So our group will be devastated, but you're going to take them all on by yourself. Oh boy. Oh, you got spotted pretty quickly, didn't you? <laughs> How do they see that from a distance? We got one! <laughs> I don't know if that's Jade talking or one of the soldiers. Jade is the tall fellow with the white cape. Oh, she's gonna blame you. Jade there doesn't seem impressed. <laughs> yeah, when the lady's got that much magic, you uh, heed her warnings. Being lightning, it's really slow. Yeah, that seemed just like a fight out of Dragon Ball, doesn't it? Except the, uh, actually it is just, just like out of Dragon Ball. Even the bad guys had the advantage. Hmm, so that's what brought down the dragon in the clan. I want wishes! Here's a jerk. <laughs> Just one? Oh, okay, so it was eight warriors. Six keys. Goddess keys were scattered. Get out of here before you fry! <laughs> oh, work is done here. Oh, crud. The white dragons kind of went up in smoke. Mostly. She did. Uh. <laughs> it already is in ruins, isn't it? Oh.
Wow, you know there's problems when the old people don't believe the legends. Yay! Take this and be about our way. All that's left in Drogon is an item shop and a weapon shop. What do I got? That marble 3 might be of use. Eh, we'll see if I start having trouble. Aha! Works. And a couple items I can't even equip. Speaking of equipment, what am I armed with? Uh, uh, uh. Except for the rope and the straw hat. Oh, I'm not even fully dressed. Just wearing a robe. <laughs> Sounds like a great start to a game. Let's save it and get moving. Yay! One of the things I actually like most about this game is that there's really no point in the game where you have to grind. I mean, for experience. Or even money. It's, uh, oh, golly, I had to run in with, with the meanest things to be had. Ow. I'm gonna die. Such a great way to start an RPG. Yep. Oh, we're off to a pleasant start. And that cost me a quarter of my money. Uh. Just like a good RPG, it will just screw you over at the start. Because <laughs> I can meet those things on this side of the bridge, too. This isn't much better. I think I, I can actually take these guys on. Right. I can survive seven hits. We're off to a fantastic start. Uh. Oh, for the love of! Can I kill it? Yay! Hi. Dark Dragons have been on a rampage. Uh, fight them? Kill them? You probably should. Yeah, pansies. <laughs> Oh. We'll make our way into the castle next time. Oh, I think I'm gonna use this. And we'll use 
that too. <laughs> Strength is how hard we hit. Vigor's the base the base of our defense. Agility is the speed we move at. Wisdom is a magic power, and luck is well, it's fate. Whatever that whatever that stat's for. Well, it's for uh, getting critical hits and avoiding avoiding them and uh, status effects. Aha! But that's enough for now. Next time, we will brave the castle of Camelon. See you then. Later.